friends, it's me, and today we are watching a My Story animated video about a girl who nobody has ever seen her face. Until now. I just finished five photo shoots in London, attended a fashion show in Paris, done an interview for Vogue Italia, and now my exhausted buddy was about to have some pampering. Wait, but nobody has ever seen your face. Are you a hand model? Maybe a foot model? Or Bella Hadid? Suddenly, I heard a loud bang in my room. I went to go check what it was, and I was shocked to see one of my luggage bags moving. I what? slowly opened it, and a creepy stranger suddenly sprang out from it. Ah! This luggage is unusually heavy. There's a whole entire person smuggled inside here. While sniffing my favorite dress. Oh, my bodyguards ew, rushed as I screamed in horror. This is a serious invasion of my privacy. Take him away right now. Iris, I'm begging you. Just one kiss and a selfie. That's it? That's all you want? One kiss and a selfie? You're getting sued and you're going to jail. Hi, my name is Iris and I'm a famous supermodel with a billionaire boyfriend. It might sound like every teenage girl's dream, but for me, it was my worst nightmare. No, uh-uh, I don't want to hear it. You have a billionaire boyfriend. You're rich and a beautiful model. You're out here living everybody's dream. I don't want to hear any complaints. The hotel incident was circulating on the news in no time. And as soon as I reached my parents, they immediately fired my bodyguards. While I was doing yoga in my room, someone suddenly barged in. It was my new boyfriend, Rocco. He was the son of an A-list actor, and he seemed pretty cool. Not to mention, really, really hot. Okay, so what's wrong? Wrong with this guy sounds like he has everything going for him. What's his deep dark secret? Does he pick his belly button and rub it on you in your sleep? Rocco, what are you doing here? It's been eight minutes since my last chat. Why aren't you replying? There it is. That's what's wrong with him. He's clingy. You came all the way here just for that? No, I came here to do this. Will you marry me? Are you crazy? We've been dating for like five days. I don't even know your eye color, Rocco. <laughs> What? Are you blind? Just look at it. You don't have to do a Google search to find out his eye color. Like, it's right there. Suddenly, he started bawling like a baby on the floor. Aww. Oh my god. My heart. It hurts so bad. Bro, you should have waited. What the heck are you doing? I won't leave until you say yes. He really meant it. And I had to have him thrown out by security. What? Y'all have been dated for five days. I sent a text eight minutes ago. Why hasn't she replied? Is she okay? I better go check on her. I'm just kidding. Would you marry me? I was tired of being worshipped and followed because I was a famous model. I came across a video of a model who got plastic surgery to change her identity. It would be amazing to just disappear and return as a completely different person. What? Are you like surgically attaching a big old clown nose or perhaps an elongated chin? Would you guys still recognize me if I look like this? I tried on a black wig with bangs to cover my eyes, changed my eye color from blue to green, threw in some makeup and baggy clothes, and I couldn't even recognize myself. I mean, yeah, Mom you can. Mom screamed upon seeing me and almost reported me as a trespasser. I just want to be a normal girl living a normal life with no bodyguards and obsessed fans around me 24-7. I've been homeschooled all my life, and now I want to go to an actual school and have friends. How old is she? She out here like a supermodel with a billionaire boyfriend. I thought she was in her 20s. She's still going to school? Let me have this. I'm begging you. Fine but on one condition. I'll choose the apartment for you and you have to take at least two maids with you. Deal. And just like that, I was off to a new chapter in my life. Imagine. You can move out, but only if you live in the $5 million penthouse that I choose for you and you take two maids so they clean up after you. Is this what it's like to be rich? As I was walking towards the school building on my first day, I suddenly stopped upon seeing a scary dog in the middle of the road. And when it started to chase me, suddenly a skateboard came flying into the air, scaring it away. I turned to my savior and he was cute. Thanks for saving my life. What? I was just doing a backflip and my skateboard slipped. You still saved <laughs> my life. Saved your life? You're so dramatic. It's a dog. He's probably gonna lick you. What's your name? You're not my type, sweetcake, so move on. Ooh, Wait, did he just reject me? She ain't used to me? this. Well, she ain't used to getting rejected. New. He said he's a skater boy. I <laughs> said, see you later, boy. I had never felt so lost when I finally got into the school building. Everyone was wearing Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, Hermes, and Prada, and they were all fake. <laughs> 
What? Everybody just wearing fake bags? I was gonna say, girl, if you want a Louis Vuitton bag, I'm sure you can afford a Louis Vuitton bag. I mean, aren't you like a supermodel? When I finally got into my class, no one even glanced at me. And I wasn't complaining. I headed to an empty seat, but before I could finally sit, a girl put gum on it. I don't sit with losers. Me? A loser? Huh? Um, do you know who I am? Billionaire supermodel Leslie. Who? Just then, a familiar guy came in. It was the skater boy. Hey, do you remember me? We met earlier today. Are you stalking me? Just give it up, Sweetcakes. I was already here, and my name isn't Sweetcakes, it's Siri. <laughs> so, you're like the real life Siri, iPhone's virtual assistant? I thought her name was Leslie, it's Iris. Can you give me directions, Siri? Hey Siri, can I eat my shoes without dying? Hey Siri, would a worm eat a dead worm? Is that what y'all be asking, Siri? Can I eat my shoes and not die? Can I drink my drink through my nostril? Why aren't you answering our questions? Are you glitching or something? <laughs> Haven't you heard of the latest Apple update, Siri won't answer stupid questions from now on. Just then, a familiar girl entered, and her eyes went straight to me. OMG, what a terrible day to have eyes. That outfit is horrible. Someone take this new girl out of this room right now. Uh, this is definitely Euphoria High or something. Cause nobody cares what you're wearing. Like, okay, there's the well-dressed kids. OMG, she's wearing a hoodie. Take her out of the classroom. She's not even allowed to learn. Stop acting like you're the fashion queen, Peyton. Remember how you got rejected for a commercial and never made it as a model? Ooh. Your tantrum video went viral. <laughs> Those people were just blind. I couldn't believe they chose that trash Iris over me. Iris is not trash. Iris is a goddess. Wait, what? They all know who she is. So she famous, famous. Everybody knows who she is. And this dude who just said, you're not my type, said she was a goddess? Let me just take this wig off. Are you guys talking about the supermodel? Yes, the worst supermodel of all time. Now I remembered this girl. She'd auditioned with me for the commercial that launched my career. And Skater Boy actually had a crush on me. How interesting. Ha. So I learned that his name was Marcus. Wait till they find out who she really is. He was famous for his pranks. One time he brought a freaking cow to school and left it at the top of the stairs. No one knew how he managed to do it. You in the middle of the city, how do you bring a cow to school? That's impressive. It was lunchtime and I was starving. Marcus came over with his friend. This is our table, go away. Sorry, I didn't see your name on it. Can't we share it? We can, but on one condition. You have to clean my skateboard later. Uh. I ran over a huge pile of poop. Ew. No thanks, I'd rather eat on the floor. And with that, I did what I said. Why did you move? You are not legally obligated to move if somebody asks you to move. Over the next few days, I noticed that Peyton kept spreading fake information about me, the model Iris. She obviously hated me and wanted everyone to join the club. I heard that her breath smells like cat's poop and her head is full of dandruff. Oh no! Everybody's gonna hate her now! Weak rumor. Try again. Oh my god, ew. Why is she even a model? <laughs> You're way better than her, girl. I know, right? So unfair. I know, right? You literally have a celebrity hater club. That's very lame. <laughs> Yet somehow she's a famous supermodel with tons of fans and you've got this lame haters club in school. You seem obsessed with her. Marcus <laughs> burst out laughing and shouted, You tell her, weirdo. While Peyton looked furious. I can't wait for her to find out. On my way to class the next day, a girl bumped into me and spilled her coffee all over my shirt right before a presentation. She offered to lend me her extra shirt in her locker, and I thought that was really nice of her. Wait, is it but actually in the middle an of the accident? presentation, I started scratching myself and uh -oh. I couldn't stop. Soon, uh -oh. everyone she was laughing like wild hyenas, including Marcus. When I saw my reflection, <gasps> I could barely recognize myself. Just then, I saw Peyton and that girl high-fiving. Oh, no. I would have ripped that shirt off right then and there. Wipe their face clean with it. Maybe give them a big old hug. Whatever I have, all y'all are getting. I was then sent to the clinic, and the nurse told me to continue my treatment at home. The next day, I surprised everyone by wearing the most expensive Gucci hoodie and boots as I walked in the hallway like a fashion model. Do you think you're a star now just because you're wearing fake Gucci? Are you talking about yourself? I slapped her with the receipt of the items. <laughs> she brought the receipt. This is exactly how much I spent on Gucci. 
I ain't never seen anyone go that far, but girl, go off. Marcus and I became closer over the next few months. I always had fun with him, even when he talked about Iris 90% of the time. You know, for somebody who's so obsessed with somebody, you would think they would recognize them if they spent time together. One time he no? took me to his place, and I was shocked to see how many posters he had of me. Just look at her. How can someone be that perfect? <laughs> This guy was the fan from the beginning. He's actually a fan. Okay, that's embarrassing. And he's been hanging out with her this whole time and doesn't realize. Are you stupid? It's just unfair to every other girl. No one could ever measure up to her. He was beginning to sound as loco as Rocco, but at least there was no danger he'd ever be obsessed with Siri. Sorry, Siri, my heart belongs to one girl. That's why he's not making any moves on her. Obsessed with a girl he will never be with. <gasps> But wait. A few days later, some girls were drooling over a guy in the hallway, and I almost <laughs> choked on my saliva when I realized who it was. Rocco. Uh-oh, billionaire boyfriend has transferred to her school. I need to find Iris. My heart told me she was here. I could literally smell her. How does he know she goes here? She like moved to a different town and a different school with a new identity. She on the witness protection program. And this dude just started sniffing around the city. My spidey senses told me she'd be here. A few days later, our drama club teacher decided to pair me with Marcus, and there was a scene where we had to kiss and we needed to practice it in front of everyone. Yuck, no way I'm kissing her. He then pretended to throw up. What's wrong with kissing me? It's not a big deal. I just don't want my lips to be tainted by yours. Uh, excuse me, do you know who I am? Literally your dream girl, idiot. Oh, the irony. He was obsessed with Iris, but allergic to Siri. Our teacher lost her patience, so we had no choice but to do it. I closed my eyes, and as his lips touched mine, I felt a storm of butterflies in my stomach. He immediately pulled away and yelled, This is officially the worst day of my life. <laughs> Later when I was walking back home, he caught up with me. Hey. Are you in a bad mood or something? Yeah, you basically just threw up in front of the whole class because you had to kiss me. No, my feelings are definitely not hurt. Is it about the kiss? So what? Did you actually want me to enjoy it? I've been told I'm a really good kisser. Okay, let me try it again then. <gasps> Was the way he just grabbed when he suddenly her, pulled like, me into a very what kind hot of game this guy playing? I was catching my breath as he finally let go of me. He then turned around and left, leaving me completely stunned. I don't want them to pull nothing like, I knew it was you the whole time. I don't want them to pull that. Peyton got bored and threw a huge party. I learned that Marcus was going, so I did too. Peyton suddenly gathered everyone's attention. I prepared a little show for you guys. Are you ready to see it? She started showing pictures of me as Iris. This is so embarrassing. Like, you're in high school and here she got a PowerPoint of this celebrity that she doesn't like. Did you guys know that this famous model oh, suddenly she she splashed her. water on my face and took my wig off has been here with us the whole time? How you gonna time? let her do that? Yes. I met Marcus's eyes across the room and he looked super shocked. And he still wouldn't recognize her. Like, you've been hanging out with your dream girl for months now. Oh, she's blonde. Okay, that's her. Just then, the crowd went wild. And before they could jump oh, on me, I ran out of her fan. mansion and called dad to take me home. You know, good thing she's rich and can just, like, transfer to another city. Go to another school. Maybe buy a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. I'd been trying to contact Marcus to explain everything, but he never returned my calls, and it was killing me. He was probably so embarrassed he didn't know what to say. Like, bro, that was her this whole time. Starts ripping the posters off his wall. Just then, I heard someone yelling downstairs. I walked to the balcony and saw Marcus being held down by my bodyguards. Let go of him, boys. Marcus, what are you doing here? He suddenly grabbed my hand and pulled me into a hug. I missed you so much. I missed you too. And I'm sorry for lying to you. There's no need to explain. You had your reasons. Then what took you so long to see me? I have always idolized Iris and always thought that she was the love of my life. But you, you ain't nothing special, Siri. You came as Siri and everything changed. Be the supermodel or the annoying weirdo, I don't care. As long as it's you. I love you. I love Aww. you too. Now, what should I call you? I haven't thought about that yet. As of now, just call me yours. Oh, okay. Serious. Serious, I like that, yeah. And they live happily ever after. Woo! But anyways, that's 
that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to Join the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.